Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, a lot of times people like to give thanks on Thanksgiving. I mean, implies the name, I guess. Uh, one of the things that I'm really thankful for is uh, something that I'm going to be talking about today, which are the national parks. When I decided to do this trip, um, I knew I wanted to hit up a bunch of cities. Uh, I actually wanted to do LA. They didn't do LA, actually, but I wanted to do LA, San Francisco, Seattle, uh, Austin, Atlanta, cities like that. But, you know, a lot of people were kind of telling me to check out some national parks. And I'm not the most outdoorsy person. Well, now I am, but I wasn't the most outdoorsy person um, before the trip. But going to these national parks, I think first it started just, just the redwoods in uh, Northern California were amazing. I kind of like, if something inside me kind of like got ignited and I was like, man, I kind of, maybe I do like hiking. Maybe I do like the outdoors. Maybe, maybe I need to like climb a mountain or something. The seed of love was born there, I think. And then, you know, we continued on to Alaska. We did the Grand Canyon. Uh, we did the Great Sand Dunes National Park, which again, blew me away. Um, and then I went to Yellowstone National Park which is the first national park. And I actually was there day by myself. But before I even get into that, let's just talk about how amazing the national parks are in America. Some facts first, uh, there's over 50 million acres of national parks uh, in America. They've been preserved and set aside for all of us, no matter who you are, where you're from, what part of the country you're from, for all of us to enjoy if you spend thirty dollars you get a yearly pass and that yearly pass gets a, an entire carload of people into whatever national park you go to i bought a uh, year pass and i went to seven or eight national parks this summer and yeah you pull up to the gate as long as someone in the car has a pass everyone gets in uh for that thirty dollar a year fee which is amazing and I'm just gonna throw a slideshow up here real quick to just show you some of the amazing scenic things that I saw. But Yellowstone obviously was a really special uh, moment for me during the trip because Yellowstone was the first national park uh, that was established. It's over like 130 years old and uh, it's one of the biggest national parks. It attracts millions and millions of visitors every year. I think some of you may have heard the crazy story about the, the European tourists who put the baby bison in their car and then the bison had to be put down and all this crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I, after I actually go into it, just a quick note on that, the most dangerous thing in these parks aren't the animals, aren't, it, it isn't the bears or the bison or, or whatever. It's like, yo, people are crazy. Like, this is so off topic, but just driving through that, through Yellowstone National Park, you know, they, they have all these roads that kind of run through the park and uh, there's like animals and all types of like trails and scenes and everything along the roadway. And people are just literally, like people are driving like this. Like you see people driving and they're looking at their phone, taking a picture and driving like this so that like, you just have to be if you go to Yellowstone National Park just drive slow and keep your eyes open but anyway Yellowstone was so amazing a lot of land on Yellowstone uh, is part of like an active volcano so there's all these geysers um, the wildlife is crazy you know we were got to get up close and personal with bison um, some elk we didn't see a bear I'm not upset about that you know, like everyone kept asking us, we had bear spray. And I was like, you know, I just don't think that I'm going to be able to operate bear spray if a bear is like, you know, chasing me down. So I was like, I don't think I need it because if it comes down to that, I think I'm gotten anyway. But, uh, but yeah, we saw tons of wildlife. And uh, before we even get into like that video, I just have to show you and talk about uh, where we stayed during our stay in Yellowstone and then in Glacier National Park. I found this, for lack of a better word, hotel company, but it's, it's, I just, I detest this word so much that I hate to say it, but it's like this glamping uh, company that's like a mix between a hotel and camping. Now, for someone who's unsure about their outdoorsy uh, or outdoors capabilities, like I am, I was looking for a place where I could stay and be part of nature, but also not be fully rugged. And I found this company called Under Canvas. And they stay at like this campsite, but they give you a tent with a with a bed. With you have like wood floors in there, like wood like wood plank floors. Um, you have a, like a, a little carpet in there. You get a little dresser. You get your own little uh, iron, like cast iron 
uh, stove, like wood stove, uh, wood stove to kind of keep you warm because even during the summer, uh, Yellowstone was, at night was like 42, 45 degrees. So uh, yeah, the the campsite was amazing. And then one of the, like one of the things I will never forget from my time and experience in Yellowstone was the second night I was there, Dave and Jackie came in late. And we were walking back to the tent. It had to be like 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning. And I'm walking back to the tent with them. And I look up. And like the smell of firewood. And being able to see the stars so clearly. Like it felt like the stars were like right here. And the smell of the firewood. And I just like, I just like tapped my brother Dave. And I'm like, yo, like look up. And like all of us like stopped in our tracks and we were just staring at the sky. Like, I've never seen a sky like that. And, you know, and I grew up in upstate New York, like it, there's a lot of nature up there as well, but I've never experienced something like that. Like I said, the smell of the firewood and the stars being just huge and just so close and just, it was, it was breathtaking. I had to, I had to talk about under campus. They took great care of us. They showed us how to use the stove. Uh, how to keep ourselves warm in it too. Although the first night I froze to death, my fire went out. I didn't know you had to get up every couple of hours and kind of stoke the fire, keep it going. So I went right to sleep and then I woke up about three o'clock in the morning and it was for reason in my tent. It probably was like 38, 39 degrees in my tent. And uh, I tried, I was like trying to like get my fire going. Like this is literally like me trying to like get these sticks together to like get the fire going. Like I was like, so I, I shivered and, 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 and tried for a couple minutes that I was, you know what, screw it. And I just climbed on the bed. I put my sweatsuit back on and climbed under all the covers and just kind of like froze it out until the morning. Um, and then the next day, someone helped us and we got the fire going well. It was really an amazing stop on the tour. Um, you know, I'm actually going to do another video to, to really kind of just show you the scenes uh, in and around Yellowstone and uh, show you how amazing it was. Uh, but I really just had to just today just really want to talk about the national park system. And, and there's a national park in every state except Delaware. So no matter where you live, you know, like there's a national park for you. And this year was the 100 year uh, anniversary of the National Park Service. Uh, so there was, a lot, there was a lot of things going on in the parks, um, but like I said before in the previous video, I think getting out into nature and seeing some things uh, is really important because I think it humbles you. It shows you, you know, just how small you are in this in this world and on this earth, and and how amazing the beauty of not only this country but of the world is. And you know, like I said, it's it's a very cheap option. Um, doesn't take a lot of money, doesn't, you know, depending on where you live, it doesn't take a lot of time. If one person watches this video and says, you know what, I'm going to go check out a national park, then I would feel great about posting these videos. Um, the next couple of videos are just really going to be focusing on Yellowstone and then Glacier National Park. Um, and I really hope you enjoy them because I really was blown away by all of the national parks. I just, I, you know, like I'm trying to find the right words to say, but it was just... <sighs> It was really worth it. Um, the cities were great and they were awesome and I had a great time, but visiting the national parks really, I really found another passion, uh, you know, for something that I really enjoyed. And, you know, I, you know, and a lot of times we joke that, you know, Negroes don't hike or Negroes don't do this or do that. But uh, we, we really need to stop that and we really need to to, to take advantage of the things that are, that are there for us to, to experience and to explore. And in national parks, and honestly, I didn't see a lot of black and Spanish people at these national parks this summer. And I, and I did look at some statistics and a lot of us don't go to these parks and don't experience these things. And, and that's a shame, you know, and, and I feel like if I can do it, you can do it. And I would recommend anyone, if you have any time to check out the parks, both in your city, in your county, in your state, and other states as well. Um, you know, like I said, it doesn't take a lot of money and you're gonna experience something that is amazing.